the best thing about science, um, for me, has always been pushing against the unknown. Every day we learn something that nobody in the world knew yesterday. And I think that's the best reason to come into work every day. What stem cells has allowed us to begin to do is in human cells to really understand what is going wrong in human disease. We're finally beginning to understand the mechanisms underlying disease in a way that just wasn't possible before. The vision that I have for stem cell research is that it will affect every area of research, treatment and understanding of human disease. The Black Family Stem Cell Institute is a linchpin of the entire Mount Sinai health system. We hope to achieve breakthroughs in understanding of how cells function, how disease arises. By using stem cells, we may be able to offer our patients something new that doesn't exist yet. Here at Sinai, we focus on studying the process of using stem cells to make heart cells outside of the human body. What is unique about the heart compared to other organs is that it has a lower capacity to heal itself. We are trying to generate cells outside of the human body that we could use to replace the lost tissue. The hope that we have is that we can put those cells back into a person after a heart attack. What I'm hoping to do is find strategies to prevent individuals from going blind. I work on an adult stem cell in the eye that if I place them in in culture conditions, I can recreate certain tissues of the eye that we hope to then uh, transplant into patients. By discovering this stem cell in the back of the eye, we have this potential to try to replace that damaged or lost cell type and restore or pre at least preserve vision. I'm a physician. What I'm trying to do is find the relevance of it to the diseases that I treat. Most blood cancers occur at the level of the malignant stem cell. In our laboratory, we're developing drugs that are targeting malignant stem cells. We're taking the patient's own cells, expanding their stem cells, genetically correcting them, and then infusing their corrected stem cells. Until stem cells, it was almost impossible to understand what was going wrong in patient brains before they were diagnosed. Stem cells let us watch the disease in the dish. Schizophrenia is a disease where we completely don't understand the processes that lead up to disease onset. What we're doing in the lab is, is fundamentally disease modeling. A stem cell reverts the cell back to a very young state, perhaps a fetal state. And so we can watch over the course of development, these cells mature and then begin disease. And so we can see the disease initiation, disease progression, and the ultimate end stage of disease in the dish. The hope is that if we can fix those simple differences between cells, that will add up to a correction of the disease. The partnership is working together with clinicians such as myself, with researchers in the Stem Cell Institute. They'll be helping us isolating stem cells, preparing them, then we will provide the means to implant these stem cells into the body. One of the holy grails in diabetes research is to develop ways to regenerate or replace uh, human beta cells. If someone could make uh, stem cells into beta cells, 
They can be transplanted into you and fix your diabetes. At the end of the day, from a patient point of view, I'm going to get a transplant with stem cells. This stuff was unimaginable 10 years ago. Stem cell biology offers that promise. In fact, it's very close to delivering on that right now. The potential is huge because we can replace lost function, which is not something that we're capable of doing right now. So this would be game changer in many, many diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Stem cells are a new frontier in medicine. There's constantly something new. And the discoveries are towards something better and greater. And that's something very unique about stem cells. It has the capacity to bring researchers from all areas together to make something that is bigger than its individual parts.